Okay, so what's happening right now is actually we're doing a memorial ball in honor of O'Shea Sibley. Um, O'Shea was actually murdered in New York City for Bogan in a gas station such as this. He was with his friends and because he's a part of the ballroom community, we wanted to go ahead and actually honor him because his death was an impact to not just us, but like the entire country. Because if you can't even go simply out to a gas station to just probably get a snack, pump your gas, enjoy yourself, or be with a friend, and you are now in danger of getting killed because of who you are and the type of style of dance you do, it's a real tough time to be black and queer or trans in America. So we decided as a community throughout the entire ballroom communities nationwide to do our own memorial ball. So Seattle was doing their version of it and they're doing it in LA, they're doing it in New York. So they're just sprouting up all over. And oh yeah, Philadelphia just confirmed too. O'Shea Sibley is originally from Philadelphia. He's actually someone who I actually knew personally, um, who works with young youth at YHEF, um, the youth empowerment program in Philadelphia. And just to see, one, him being murdered by a young, a, a young teen, but let alone now being celebrated by his fellow ballroom community members. This is a nationwide conversation on advocacy for our community members, not just in the LGBTQ community, but especially respecting the ballroom scene. So what's happened here today is ballroom culture. What that is, is pretty much way back in the 90s, um, a lot of black and brown drag queens and trans women felt alienated by the drag culture and decided, you know what, fuck this, I'm gonna make my own culture. And what spurred out of it is what you're seeing today, ballroom culture. So in ballroom culture, there's like, there's a main thing. You have a commentator, that's Notorious T, who's on the mic right now. That, pretty, that person really guides the ball and guides everybody, gets the people up. You get more energy when you have someone hyping you up. And that's what a commentator does, is guide everybody and clean them up. Then you have your DJ. Your DJ plays the beats, they're on the ones and twos. They give you the music to, you know, to vogue out and do what you need to do. And then you have the spectators, people who are just watching, who understand the culture, who are just watching. So it's pretty much what you're seeing today is people who practice really hard, be able to express themselves and be able to vogue, runway, face, all these different type of categories that we do when we compete at a ball. We're tired of, at the end of the day, not only trans community members being killed, but community members being bullied and harassed because they just want to dance, because we just want to live, because we just want to be seen and heard. I think a lot of us can envision ourselves being O'Shea. Like, we all go out here, we all key, we all, we all vote, we're all just minding our business. And someone took that, took that us, someone just minding the business up there and decided to do hate to somebody else. And I think it's really, definitely for this community that's just growing here, it's a big, it's like a bit like, whoa, like this could be me. This could be, I could be in that same position. Having visibility, physical visibility, and improper representation, and saying it with our bodies, with our voices, with our lived experiences, that you're gonna see us, you're gonna respect us, and we're gonna keep existing, and ballrooms gonna keep thriving and keep breaking down doors and molds.